Hey guys, Lou here. Tiny Mountain Houses. Got a 22 foot Chinook Peak model that we're just getting ready to ship to uh, a customer. Um, and we've done some pretty cool things to it. Now, if you're not familiar with the Chinook Peak, 22 feet, dual lofts, uh, living room downstairs, good size um, uh, kitchen in here. And we've done some way, way awesome finishes inside here. I can't wait to really have you take a look at the cabinetry. It's alder and it looks absolutely magnificent. Um, exterior of this house. Now, yep, we got the 80 inch windows, um, the, the, the 40 year standing sea metal roof, the 40 year uh, uh, siding, fully insulated, the metal accent out here. And now this is a gable roof, so it continues peaked like this throughout as a 2 and 12 roof pitch. Um, we've got the a single light French door with the built-in blinds. I really think it looks nice. So with that, let's go inside and take a peek. Come on. Let's check this out, guys. Hey, Nick. Check this guy out. You know, one of the things that really I feel is just outstanding in this build are these cabinets. These are these are alder cabinets, and I'll get into some detail about some of the stuff that we've done. But these are alder finished alder wood cabinets finished in a, in a clear coat. This buyer uh, wanted a, a, a special uh, built bookcase built, so we did this to their exacting specifications. They also wanted us to provide them with a platform for a day bed, and that's what this is here. But I, I just, I mean, I can't get over how nice this wood looks. I mean, just look at how soft and warm it is. Um, so I'm, I'll show you the inside of those cabinets in just a second. Uh, I want to point out uh, what they also did was modify uh, this area from, from the standard in that what we've done here is provided them with a knee hole for a snack bar area. Those, those little cubbies down there, those sh that shelving is for shoes storage. This area is for sliding stools under and, and basically having a snack bar here. Um, as you walk through this kitchen, one of the other things I want to point out, I don't know if Nick can see this, this is a 30 inch undermount stainless steel sink and it is absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I mean the storage, the cutting board, you look at the, the, uh, uh, the uh, commercial spring uh, faucet. Uh, I mean, I think it really blends really fantastically in this build, if that's a word. Um, cabinets, alder, soft clothes. Look at the inside of these. We continue with the alder inside. Once again, custom built to the customer's specifications. Soft clothes. But just gorgeous, gorgeous finish, don't you think? Wow. So as we walk through the quartz countertops, as I mentioned, um, I'm not sure if Nick can get a shot over here, but the cabinets continue. And of course, they're extended height uh, cabinets. And look at the depth of the cabinetry over the refrigerator. Nice and deep. Full use of that cabinet, taking full use of that space above the refrigerator, which is a stainless steel, an 11.1 uh, cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, I don't know if Nick can get a shot of the microwave over here or not. That's a 30 inch microwave. So it's, it's six inches bigger than our typical, uh, which is 24. Uh, and once again, cabinet nice and high. And as you look down below that area, check out the backsplash. Isn't that some cool looking stuff? Boy, it's got some depth. Three by six, that's a glass tile. And I think it really, it just looks magnificent. It really brings out the, the luster uh, of that tile uh, in the backdrop of the white. Um, we've also done a uh, convection oven or cooktop here. Nice looking unit. Below that, uh, per the customer's request, we've made an opening here for their oven. So they're going to put their own thing in there once they get the house. I think I mentioned the fact that these are soft closed drawers and doors. Nice feature. Um, I think what I'm going to do is we're going to spin around. I'm going to have Nick get a shot from the other direction. So let's do the whirly bird. All right, guys, now that we've done the whirly bird twirl around, bathroom, uh, pocket door, as usual, so the door doesn't take up uh, floor space. Nice use of, of room there. 
As you walk into this bathroom, one of the things I want to point out, first off, we continue with this beautiful alder. Um, this cabinet was, was custom built for the customer. Washer dryer will go into this opening here. Intentionally left a, an open cavity below that. They're placing their cat box down there. Great idea. Um, as we look to my right, you'll see a 60 inch shower. Once again, custom for the customer's request. Um, look at all that storage, those storage containers in the corners. I don't know if Nick can get the, the hardware there. That's a pull out um, um, spray wand. Uh, as you look up on the ceiling, you'll notice the uh, TNG pine, um, the arch rod for the shower curtain, and of course, uh, an exhaust fan that vents to, to the outside of the house, the can lights. Um, as you look over to uh, my left, you'll see the, this area right here is for the toilet. Typically, you'd have a toilet in there. Uh, this buyer is going to do something uh, a little special, so we left it out for their request. The sink, once again, specialty item per uh, the buyer's request. Notice that's a wall mount sink. We continue the glass tile in here and check out this faucet. Oh, hey, there's water in there. <laughs> cool. Medicine cabinet, beveled edged mirror, um, and, and, and I think it turned out great. You look at the contrast with the flooring in here. I don't know if Nick can get a shot of that. This is a, a specialty floor per, once again, uh, this buyer's request. It contains no vinyl, no vinyl. I think I just put that out. No vinyl in it. So it's, it's supposed to be some pretty nice stuff. I know it, it was pretty costly, but I think it turned out beautifully, don't you? So with that, let's go out here and take a look at the loss. Come on. Hey guys, secondary loft, Chinook Peak. This, this uh, loft area is just about five feet by almost eight. Now notice the butcher block desks. There's two of them, one on each side. Once again, for the customer's request, you know, this is gonna be a workspace for them. We deleted the windows that are typically flanking on the sides here uh, to allow this workspace for them. And then we left the end wall window there. Speaking of the end wall window, if you look over to the left upper side of it, see a box? That's a heat air exchanger. That basically refreshes the air inside the house, eliminating any potential issues that you perhaps could have from, from moisture. Um, we also have a second one on the other end of the house, which I think is a fantastic idea, especially here in the Northwest where it does get a little damp, guys. Um, so if that's something that fits your needs, hey, let us know. As we look up on the ceiling, if you haven't noticed already, pine, P and G. Um, I think, you know, it just really warms this up. I think it ties in beautifully with the alder cabinets. Um, I mean, I, I, it, it just turned out fantastic. I think this entire build is just, just gorgeous. Uh, for a 22-footer, I mean, we've packed in a lot of goodies, haven't we? Uh, I'm going to spin around and we're going to go into the primary loft. And I think you'll like that, too. Hey, guys. Okay, primary loft, 8 feet deep, almost 8 feet wide. Um, what we've done here is added two upright closets with hanging rods and a shelf at the bottom for storage here. Um, I think it's, it, they turned out really nice, don't you? Of course, continuing the TNG ceiling. Notice the, the lighting in here. As opposed to putting the typical wall sconces, what we've done is a ceiling can lights. Um, and I think they do a real good job of illuminating this area. The second uh, HRV that I mentioned when I was uh, when we were in the other loft is, is on the end wall here. Um, and once again, they, they really do an incredible job of, of eliminating um, the potential issues you'd have from, from moisture. Um, so anyway, I, I think this turned out really well. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't have an opportunity to stage this house, which I would have loved to do. Uh, hopefully, you can get a good feel of what this space is and some of the amenities and the finishes that we've done. Um, I, I think I, I, I think it turned out beautiful. I really, really, I'm excited about this. The customer's going to come in and actually walk it uh, on Monday. Today is Saturday, so I can't wait to show them. Cool. Let's come downstairs and we'll uh, tell you what we told you and tell you again. All right, guys. Chinook Peak, custom built. Recap, 22 feet long, eight and a half feet wide, 13 six high. We've got a gabled roof. We've got the interior with the uh, tongue and groove pine. These fantastic looking, I'm sorry, looking alder cabinets throughout. Um, 30 inch microwave, 30 inch sink, under mount. Really nice amenities with this. The commercial spring faucet, the uh, two burner induction, um, cooktop, a space for uh, 
an oven below. We got the 11.1 uh, cubic uh, refrigerator with the freezer on top, quartz countertops, the bathroom, 60 inch shower, and a wall mount sink, the custom built cabinet for the washer dryer and for the kitty cat underneath it. Um, and I talked about you know, how we left that space in there for, for, uh, for their own uh, toilet. Um, let's see here, 80 inch windows. Loft with the work areas, the little desks up there that we've got, the butcher block desks, I should say. Um, the heat recovery systems that uh, actually are on both of the end walls. Um, we've got that really cool uh, uh, day bed uh, platform in here. The bookshelves uh, with, for their entertainment center above it that's on the end wall, the single light French door. We've got the uh, metal accent on the outside of this house. I mean, you know, of course, we've got the, a lot of the typical amenities we put in here. Um, the um, mini split is in here. In fact, they wanted a specific mini split, and I don't remember the name of it, but it's, it's supposed to be a super duper one. Uh, call me and ask me what it is if you want to, because I don't remember right now. But super quiet as always, ductless system, super energy efficient, um, and it's doing a good job of, of, of keeping the temperature uh, at, at a nice, comfortable temperature uh, today. It's cold outside. So beadboard walls inside, the typical white uh, millwork that you see from us a lot uh, finishes it off this house very nicely. Uh, the storage cabinets or closets, I should add, uh, up in the uh, primary loft. Now, this client wanted two ladders to access their lofts as opposed to staircase or ribbon staircase or, uh, or, or sweeping ladder. So that was their preference. Um, once again, hopefully, you know, as always, you know, the whole purpose of these videos is to say, hey guys, look what we're doing here. You know, is this a fit for you? Uh, is this something you would want in your tiny house? Maybe it's the tiny house in its entirety that works for you, or maybe just pieces and parts. Anyway, thanks for checking us out. We really appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions of us, you know how to get a hold of us. We'd love to talk to you or hear from you. Um, appreciate you much. Thanks to my team for getting us here and building another beautiful tiny house. Thanks a lot, guys. Hopefully we'll hear from you soon.